I am all the way maxed out on money, even though there is clearly enough space for another fucking letter. Letter. Goddamn my brain. Number! Another number! Oh boy, this has been the runaround. What's up my fellow knights? It is your traversing the fucking world to figure out little things instead of wasting your time by doing this shit off screen. Pot in here! And welcome back to Final Fantasy! <laughs> I went through the Mirage Tower. I told you guys I would re... like... Um, what is that word I'm looking for? I would come back... whatever. Whatever. Re-come re back. <laughs> I would come back with you guys, and by the way, level 50 is not the highest fucking level. I can still keep going. It might be level 99. Because I could have sworn the level cap was like 25. But, yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> The level cap is not even 50, so which means my people can still get fucking stronger. In terms of like HP, the knight and the master aren't going up any, but they can still upgrade their stats of endurance and strength and shit like that, which is awesome because I got a lot of game left and I don't want to be struggling. And oh, by the way, for people, especially myself, which are insanely pissed off that I'm not using the magic of the black wizard. Um, or fucking Red Wizard's magic. I'm just using them for attacking. The animation for um, the the spells would take longer and make the episodes a little longer. Plus, I've never really come across anything so far right now that d d was necessary for a bunch of fucking magic. Like, by the time my team attacks, everything's either dead or a second turn away from being dead. So, I, I'm sorry for those of who are mad. And yes, if I was on my own, I'd probably end up doing that. But I probably wouldn't because I'd like just smashing that X button. Going boop, 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 boop. And that's how I am mentally. I just hold that fucking X down and don't think about using magic spells. Sorry. <laughs> but, <sighs> I got it. I was going to do it on the second fucking, um, the, the second. Oh, also I upgraded my, my shit. I did it. Oh my god, look how close my shit is to him. Holy crap, a hundred. God. Yeah, I was gonna do the Sunblade, but it seems like it weakens me using it against other shit. We will see when we go back to the Mirage Tower. But, but, but. I went to the fucking Mirage Tower, and, um, the, the first, there was a robot in there. And at first, he was like, um, he was like, uh, are you our masters? And there's bats in this waterfall cave. I'm kind of thinking, even though the, I'm pretty sure there's more than five of them. So, yeah. I'm pretty, I was pretty, unless they're in the fucking sky, the, the fucking next place I'm going to, the sky ship, whatever. Um, fucking, these are the bats from those people in the village telling me that a bunch of people left the village and they became bats. I'm not sure if that's where you were supposed to figure it out in the game because it drops subtle, and I mean incredibly subtle context clues sometimes. Like one I'm about to tell you, one about the bats, which would make you remember, hey, Waterfall is a place with a lot of bats that you could just interact with. Maybe you should go there and check that place out. And two, when I hit the second floor, there was a fucking robot there that I ran into and said that you need the fucking warp cube. And um, someone took it. No, he was like some, a robot friend of ours took the warp cube to the west. That is literally all he said is to the west, and the Waterfall Cavern and Omlock is to the west. I looked this up, by the way, so... <laughs> um, fucking, uh... So, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna clear these treasure chests, and no one has to watch me run around all these consistent battles, get these treasure chests, and let me just clear the floors of all the treasure chests. There's only three floors, by the way, and, um... 
when I got to the third floor, there was just a small room with one robot in it and a warp point. I could not access the warp point, and the guy was like, you have to have the warp cube in order to get to the Sky Fortress. So I left, and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking tired of this. You guys don't want to see me wandering all around the world, and I'm not sure where the fuck to go. At this time, I didn't know to go to the Waterfall Cavern. Like I told you, I looked it up. So what happened was I borrowed somebody's phone because currently my phone has no internet i can only receive incoming calls hooray for being completely broke <sighs> i'm lucky i'm in a situation where i have a roof over my fucking head and food that i can shovel into my fat face um fucking so i'm fortunate but right now i can't call out i can't use internet and that's why the uploads are so sparse I'm relying on someone else's hotspot to do that, and I'm forever grateful for it so the channel doesn't go fucking, it would have been at least a month now, a month and a half now, since I lost my damn internet. So, uh, I apologize for the few and far between uploads, but whatever is whatever, hopefully soon I'll have my internet back, and I can do back daily uploads, two daily uploads. <sighs> but... That is something for the future. Now, I looked it up. It was like, oh yeah, go to Onlack and go to go up river to the Waterfall Cavern. There should be a robot in there. There was even like a screenshot for a YouTube video, but I just looked it up through Google. I had a bunch of treasure chests and then a robot, and he's going to give you the cube. Or it'll be in one of the treasure chests, mind you. I have been in this Waterfall Cavern before! This place was not here! All these treasure chests were not here. So that is where we are now. I mean, I'm going to make a cut after I get this because I don't want you guys to miss so fucking much. You already missed the two fucking robots talking. So I, I really don't want to cut any more story-based footage. And I can't leave the recorder running because one, it puts wear and tear on the recorder. Two, it makes the file a lot bigger so it's harder to fucking edit and shit like that. And it's just not fucking worth it. Stopping the recorder after I do this and then hitting it up again when I'm at the warp point, mind you. Not in the tower, but at the warp point so we can watch it together, us transporting there and starting that sky fortress. That's what we're going to do. But first, let us t talk to this guy. Are they all going to run? You guys missed it. While I was in the fucking Mirage Tower, there was like a bunch of cockatrices and whatever the fuck that other red bird was. I totally just forgot, even though I'm pretty sure it was on the screen right now. There were fucking nine of them. And it was like enemy attacks first. And all nine of them, one by fucking one, just fucking ran. And I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Give me the thing. Take this cube. Defeat the mad flying fortress. I got the cube. I got the cube. What the fuck? Bzz, giga. What? Spellbinder. Raven. Yeah, see, this wasn't here. Damn it! No more money! Like, it doesn't let me pick up potions and shit over 99, but it lets me still pick up fucking money, even though look at the money! I am all the way maxed out on money, even though there is clearly enough space for another fucking letter. Letter. God damn my brain. Number! Another number! But, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. The next time you'll see me, I'll be right in front of the warp point for the palace. I should have talked to him again. Uh, 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 uh,
Here's the guy who told me. Warp to the flying fortress with the warp cube. Now let us do that. <sighs> oh, first floor. This will probably be the one with ten fucking floors in it. Yay. Welcome to the Flying Fortress, guys! Alright, we're here, I made it, everybody's decently healed up. I mean, I had to use a lot of regular heals to get here because, man, those... <laughs> those fucking enemies, those vampire guys, the Dracula-looking motherfuckers, they hit hard. So, yeah, I had to heal you. You know what I've also noticed, which, uh, where the fuck is it? I mean, it might be in one of the towns. I just didn't have enough money to buy some. But you would think I'd buy at least one if I came across one. Do you notice what's missing in here in this selection? I don't mean the high potions. I mean, what in this item category is completely fucking missing? Classic Final Fantasy item. Like, it's been around since day fucking one. It'll probably be around after I get out of here. Um, yeah. Do you see what's missing besides the high potions? We have potions, antidotes, gold needles, sleeping bag. You have three different kinds of fucking things to sleep outdoors and save. But you're missing one crucial thing. Yes, those who guess it right, bing, ding, 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 ding. And by the way, using that bell on the tower, man, I, I shouldn't have just been able to walk in. There should have been an animation of me using it or something. That was lame. But, um, yes, Phoenix Downs. Phoenix fucking Downs. I have nothing to restore the life of anybody who dies. Unless I use life from him. And it's only life one, mind you. So, let me get this fucking straight. If Pyro goes down, no one else can be revived. Not even him. I would have to leave the goddamn tower. Tower. The Sky Fortress. And then go to a fucking town. And heal all the while I'm losing experience for him. Just to fucking come back. Because everybody has been on the same plane now. They all level up at the exact same time. And I like it that way. I don't like four different people fucking leveling up at different times. But the fact that... He is the only one that can do life right now. Oh, you should have brought the white mage. Dad, shut up. You have two attackers and a third attacker mage. Fuck you. I know I should have brought a white mage with me. Because, God, I need somebody else who can fucking bring somebody else to life. And also use, like, life too and holy. And I get what I did in the game, but it's far too late now. For one, and for two, I make my goddamn decision. I'm laying my bed of nails. <laughs> so I would have to... I couldn't even warp. I couldn't even warp because he'd be dead. Wow, this is a situation. <sighs> I'm gonna go to the bottom first. Cause you can only go down, not up. Are you trying to make it so I can't hit you? That's adorable. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> We're also very close to a level up too, guys. So, that is awesome and amazing and wonderful and awesome. Fuck. Somebody just opened a door. That scared the fuck out of me. What's it gonna be like, Boss Central, to get these? Mendicall. Ooh, baby, baby. Ha! <laughs> Is that for real, for real, all you can do? <laughs> Yay! I'm so strong! I just had to double make sure I'm fucking recording, because I would be pissed. Oh my lord! If you do that one more goddamn again... Die. Die. 
finish this off, Adrian Chunk. Yeah, I know the aesthetic of Adrian Monk kind of went away as soon as we became a master, but... Fuck you. Venom Blade. Poison effect. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna weaken my people. Because that most of the time they die in one hit anyway, so why the fuck would it matter? I really need to get rid of that so I don't accidentally equip it. And everything they're giving me is so much weaker than the fucking cat claws. I'm pretty sure I bought that for 50 grand. I'm pretty sure that wasn't actually in like a uh, chest. Yeah. Bye. Wow. This place is beautiful though. The aesthetic of it is fucking crazy looking. That is crazy looking, now it's dead. Okay. Might be slightly over leveled for this, but. I, it's good. It's okay. It's okay. Black Knights. The blackest of knights. Ooh, I love hearing that. Yeah, by the time you guys get to that level, man, you guys will be kicking that ass, man. Stop attacking Pyro, please. He does not have the highest of health. You guys are dicks. Man, when they really want to attack him, they fucking go balls deep. And they go balls deep. Yay! Fuck. Strength, agility, and endurance luck. Yeah, strength, intelligence, endurance, luck. Ooh, nice! How's the black mage close to me? That that is an anner face. <sighs> kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I know I'm making the memo file, so the thing I said about leaving the actual area after he dies is kind of a mute point, but... What you're gonna do? I just now figured that out in my brain that I can make that was fine as I did. I was like, oh yeah, that's how I get around the him dying thing by reloading the memo file and hoping that he doesn't get effed again. Yeah, fingers crossed. I just want. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Why did it startle me? It's awfully pretty, though. It might be somewhere I can fall back down to? Is there, like, sky underneath it? No. It actually legit... Legit looks like a fucking warp point. Huh. Cool. There's so many things I still have to do. The Sky Fortress. And then I have to go to Temple of Chaos In the past and that's where everything will be over Yay, level ups I always have to go to the right first Cause right is right <laughs> Fucking rant. Hey, I see the door to a building behind you. That's awesome. You know what's amazing about this fucking game? Who it, it always has been amazing to me. And even still to this day, it makes me go, Man, this was originally a fucking arcade game. Like arcade cabinet style game. Can you imagine trying to invest as much time into this? No, bullshit. But, uh... It, it just simply makes me go, wow, the fact that how adaptive and smart the enemies are and the area and shit like that. Because here's the thing, if enemies know you're too overleveled and are going to kill them, they will run. I mean, like I said, it's frustrating, but the intelligence factor of that built into this game is crazy. The fact that they can look at you and know ahead of time that you're just gonna fucking whip that ass. Yeah, oh my god. And 
that to me is one of the craziest ass backwards fucking like not ass backwards, I was thinking about something else. Um that, that is one of the craziest fucking things to me. Damn it. Stop fucking running, I need to experience Like I said, that is a very double-edged fucking sword, my friends. Uh, damn it. I'm not taking that off. Ruby. Oh, yes! There we go. <sighs> I love picking up new stuff I can use. It makes me happy. Of course, I'm wearing the dragon mail instead of that fucking background for me channel is a fucking dragon. Why the hell? I love dragons. Everything is dragons. I love dragons. And you can't stop me. Ah! The battle frequency, though. Die. I think we'll be ending the fucking episode after I go to the other room. <sighs> this is insanely motherfucking frustrating now. This is a motherfucking frustrating Too many battles to fucking fight. It pisses me off. It pisses me off. Sorry. But with this many fucking battles, man, it's like. Wow. Might as well just fucking end the episode right here, guys. Yeah, you think that that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. Leave a big fat like if you enjoyed it. Share this video around so people know it exists. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel today to become us. This is not a make you. It'll make your skin clear. It'll make your, your, your body more toned. It'll make you more intelligent. It'll just, uh, it'll be a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> I love you all to death. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel today. Watch some hilarious highlights. They're always there to make you fucking laugh. And that is the entire point. Of the oh my god. I can't even reach the fucking door without this crap. Punching you right in your fucking eyeball, bitch. I love you guys, thanks for fucking watching this episodical, I love you so much. Subscribe to the channel and watch the next episode, the playlist will be in the outro. Thanks so much for laughing and enjoying how stupid I am. Goodbye my fellow knights and I will see you in the later time.